All right. Uh, so go ahead and let everyone know your name, the company you work at, and your position. I'm uh, Jim Keenholtz, and I work at a company called uh, Engineered Products of Pat Bay. Um, we're a material handling company, and I am a, a territory manager, so uh, I uh, design and sell warehousing systems um, and then uh, install them. All right. Uh, so what was the actual process that you went through in getting a manage management position at Pape? Uh, you know, I started at the company um, as kind of an inside sales support, um, which was supporting a lot of the territory managers at the time. Um, so, I, you know, dealing with that for a year or so and then taking on other roles um, I ended up uh, dealing with larger clients as kind of an inside support role for a while um, and just built my way up to the point where I eventually got promoted into kind of a management um, territory manager position. Uh, so just uh, kind of step through the company step by step, position by position. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, like what do your responsibilities include in your position? Yeah, so my, my position really has to do with dealing with uh, customers in my territory, which is kind of um, Renton to the Canadian border and then east to the mountains. Um, so it's that kind of northern um, western Washington territory. Um, so a lot of my responsibility is, you know, going on site, seeing these customers, figuring out what their needs are that we can help them with. Um, and then, uh, you know, designing a system that works for them, and that involves... Um, you know, figuring out what products they have, how they move them. Um, I end up drawing that up on CAD along with their warehouse and designing a system. Um, and then, you know, getting engineering on that system, which is a big part of the Northwest uh, because we're in such a high seismic zone, everything has to be engineered. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, selling that system to them, um, which kind of concludes the first part of my responsibilities. Once I've sold, you know, a system, then it comes down to more of the management side of things, which is, you know, ordering all the materials, getting everything approved by an engineer, approved by a city uh, for permitting. And then once we have the materials on site, actually having a, an install crew um, that we contract out to install the materials, um, which is kind of the highest part of it in management, um, is managing the customer's expectations along with the install crew's abilities. Um, and my design to all, you know, cohabitate to make sure the customer's happy. Okay, I gotcha. Um, so do you think you have like your own management style? And if you do, what, what do you think that is? Yeah, I, I think I've uh, developed a management style throughout uh, my career, mainly just through experience. And the biggest thing I've learned is, uh, you know, open and quick communication is kind of my my underlying point to my management style um, you know it, with with uh, you know somebody working below you or communicating something to a customer or even your boss um, is you know keeping that line of communication really open um, allows you know things to not slip through the cracks and then somebody to be at fault later you really have to keep you know customers expectations aligned with what's going on and to do that is um, to you know have great communication i got gotcha. you um how important is team building at pape uh team building's pretty big we um you know we we do a lot of work and work you know some some crazy hours sometimes when a job's going but outside of that we do a lot of activities of you know just going to get lunch and our, our company will pay for a lot of that and you know going on activities and you know going golfing or something like that and our company, because it is a privately held company, is uh, pretty pretty into a lot of those things. Our bosses will let us do a lot of things that will, uh, you know, bring us together as a team. Um, because our, you know, our president sits, you know, 50 feet away from me, I can go and see him anytime I want. So it's pretty open, pretty open type of company and uh, allows us to do a lot of those things that in bigger companies like a Boeing or some big corporate building, you probably wouldn't have the ability to do. Okay. Um, what's probably the most challenging thing about being a manager? Um, I'd say just dealing with different types of personalities. You know, uh, 
every person is different and every person responds to um, drive differently. So figuring out, you know, what's the best way to uh, push somebody to, you know, be successful or uh, encourage somebody to change things, change a, a way that they do things. Um, you know, one person, it's kind of like when you're coaching a sport or anything, one person might respond real well to a really big challenge or, you know, like you'd have in football or something, getting cussed out. Somebody might actually respond really good to that, whereas other people will shut down and, you know, not respond well. You know, they want right, to learn it right. from it. So kind of learning each individual person uh, and what they respond best to and then using that on each of them. I got gotcha. you. Challenge. Um, how have you guys been, like, adjusting? Like, how have you been managing, like, with this whole coronavirus thing going on? Like, has your actual, like – management position been like different you know yeah it's been a bit more challenging you know normally uh there's a lot of communication between you know me and my boss throughout my projects i can bounce a lot of things off him and a lot of that would happen you know almost every day when i'm going into the office i can just walk into his office so it's not like we had to actually set up meetings to go over things we could just you know spitball in the office um whereas now it's a lot more uh, scheduling communications because everyone, you know, has to jump on these Zoom meetings or go to meetings so often. They're trying to get a window when people might be available and get it all lined up to have five or six different people available. Um, it's affected kind of your timing a lot. And then just also getting on site for a lot of these projects, um, you know, making sure that we're allowed to be on site or what safety precautions we have to adhere to and my install crews have to adhere to. To even be allowed to be on site with the customer um, has definitely been challenging uh, just to try to keep things moving forward and not hit brick walls with all these regulations right right um so what advice would you give for any aspiring managers future managers um you know i'd say you know uh, learn a little bit from everyone that uh, you run into you know, every different boss you've had or manager you've dealt with um, at any position coming from, you know, big companies to smaller companies, you know, being a, working at a grocery store to working in a larger company. Um, I've learned a little bit of everything from each one of those managers. Some things I, you know, learned not to do, some things I learned to do. Um, and kind of picking pieces of everyone different management style and putting them into your own. Um, has mm -hmm. been pretty beneficial to me because you, uh, if you can learn from other people's mistakes, you know, you don't end up having to make those mistakes yourself and uh, you can save yourself a lot of, a lot of trouble. Right, right, right. Well, uh, that's all the questions I had. That was uh, pretty quick, but uh, I appreciate you. And uh, thanks for, you know, taking the time out of your day to help me out with this, uh, this project for me. Yeah, definitely, man. And uh, yeah.